Hey Bob, it's me today. Um, I want to do a video where I want to talk about Super Smash Mobs, or really all the games, or Mindplex in general, all the games, and talking about why there are so many tryhards or pros or whatever you want to call them. There's so many of them in Super Smash Mobs and in Paintball. Those are two games I'm referencing because those are the two games I played the most, but I don't know if other games have this problem where every game that you go into, there's always some tryhard killoring you to death, and you leave the game, you go to another game, new people, and they're all tryhard still, or one of them is, and it's just a ruin, ruins everything, and have you ever had that? Probably when you play Super Smash Shops, because that game is really full of tryhards. And same with Paintball, but you know, there's a reason to all the clans and stuff like that. But you know, you're fighting pros, and it's, it's annoying. It gets annoying after a while. But I want I want to know why. I'm going to theorize why, and I think the reason why... Well, before I do that, if you want to the answer, subscribe. No, I'm kidding. But if you want to see more of these videos, uh, subscribe and hit the like button down and comment down below. So, the answer that I have is... Essentially, Mindplex itself is that it's not that popular anymore. Um, there's barely anyone on. In the gameplay you're seeing behind you, there's... I always leave, I disconnect, and you'll see the server, and it's like 900 people, or whatever. Um, that's because there's no one on. Granted, it's a weekday, it's during school hours, but there's really no one on. The server only goes up to 2,000 people. That's not a lot compared to Hypixel that is over that. They have, literally, you take Mindplex, plop it onto Hypixel, and it won't even make a difference. And that's how big Hypixel is. But, it's just... You no, know, Mindplex is not popular anymore, so no new players are joining, and that means the new players who aren't joining in are since there's a lack of new players joining into these new game or these games, all there's all that's left are tryhards, and you really feel that, and it gets unplayable after a while. Last night I spent an hour trying to win one game. It took me an hour to win a single game. That should not be happening. There should be some lobbies that have people that are either noobs or average. No, everyone's good. Everyone knows what they're doing. They they have their hack clients on, their Optifine clients, and just kill over you using their reach. Yet they don't get banned because they're using their they're legit. They're they're in fair use. <laughs> they're not using any hack clients. They're not using worse store. Op they're, they're using Optifine, which the big problem like it really is using third party clients to win games. What is this? What was this unfairness, but I'm not getting into that. I'm getting to the point that there are so many people on Mindplex that are pros, that there are more pros on than there are, like, noobs and average players. Now, granted, there still are average and new players, because Mindplex was the biggest server at one point, hitting 50,000 people. And people are going to hear about that. Like, it's not like it's, it's not gone away. People, there are YouTube videos. Of like these big YouTubers, a Sunday Sky is Minecraft on Mineplex. So people are gonna join, new players are gonna join in. And they always are, you always see someone new and in Super Smash Mobs and Paintball, you always see new people that are like don't have like one win, two wins. You know, it's a nice scene, it's nice to beat them up and you know. They're fine about it. But it's just that's so rare nowadays. Now I'm always speaking about Super Smash Mobs and Paintball. Th those are the only two games I'm referencing because I don't know every other game, I don't know if, like, let's just say, Hunger Games, Sky Wars, um, whatever, you just, I don't know their whole thing, Cake Wars even, I don't know how many new players fall to joining that, there's probably a lot of average players in Cake Wars that are joining in every day, I have no idea, I don't play those games, because I fear that I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get stomped on by tryhards that have over 3,000 wins, and I don't want to do that, because I want to have fun, and play, and gonna make a mistake here and there, but I shouldn't be just instant dead for it if I make a mistake. They see that and just whatever, maybe in the fighting. But um, another reason why Mindplex playing on Mindplex, another reason is because the server is laggy sometimes, and I don't know why. You may people may say I don't know why. You may be asking that question, and I think adding on to the whole always dying to try hard. It's also infuriating when they take the opportunity when you're lagging to kill you. Now, that doesn't, doesn't happen all the time because for my sake, my Peter isn't like that bad. 
Like, I know it's bad, but it's not that bad where I lag all the time. Like, I'm pretty good when it comes to frame rates and stuff like that, but sometimes my Plex lags. And that means you are frozen still. You know, it could be a regional thing or it could be the entire server itself. And sometimes it's because the server is very unstable. Myplex is very unstable. And I've seen more of Myplex being unstable. Stable. It's Myplex's fault rather than my fault. And you can see that everyone may be lagging and maybe one of the tryhards are and they just kill you then. And it gets infuriating. Because the server cannot handle big groups of players. That's why it's down to like 2,000. There's only like 10 lobbies open. Maybe during the, 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 the prime hours, the nighttime hours, it, they're open more up. Because more people are joining in because there's 2,000 players max on. I remember three years ago, it used to be 10,000 or 20,000. They kept going down and down and down. And the server can't handle more players. Like, I remember whenever they do an update, where let's just say, where there was 5,000 players on, the server could not handle itself and it was so laggy unbearable because it couldn't handle that many people on because it's not used to it. Because I guess Mindplex. The owners or whoever runs the servers, like, cut down the cost of the servers so they're not, like, high-end anymore, they're more, like, cheap. Because, of course, they're not making more money anymore, they're not making that much money, so, of course, it makes sense that the server is going to be cheaper and less effective. And, uh, what it can hold back in a day cannot handle that anymore. Like, if it were to handle 50,000 players, the server would crash. Like, it would just have crash. It won't, won't be on for a week, because they just can't handle that. So those are the two reasons why mainly pros have been on. I did ramble on with the server lag thing, but mainly because those two things combined make Mindplex pretty unbearable. And I know I'm going to name the video like why there's only pros on, but really this video is more about why this game or Mindplex is so unplayable when you play a game. Through my perspective, your perspective may be different. Like I said before, I only play through Smash Mobs and Paintball. Those are the only two games I play. I don't know if other games are like this. I have no idea. I'm gonna assume they are. Any PvP game is just gonna be just full of tryhards. I look at a lot of people's stats and like Lobby 1 and stuff like that, and I see that a lot of them have a lot of wins. Like, I see people with like, uh, um, what is the game? Well, let's just say Cake Wars. I see people with like 4,000 wins. And over experience as well, I see. So many people with different, so many wins, thousands and thousands and thousands of wins, like, my god, it's just ridiculous, and it's the majority of people, and it gets annoying, so, I'm gonna end the video here, um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, do you relate to my issues, cause I don't know if I'm the only one, cause granted I suck sometimes, like in the background footage, I make mistakes, I screw up, but am I the only person that's doing with this? I mean, if you're a tryhard in any PvP game on Mindplex, do you have problems facing other tryhards all the time? Like, is that an issue you have? If you do, then comment down below and uh, I want to see your response. Because I'm, I'm curious. I'm really curious. So, I'm going to go and ask goodbye. Uh, yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Because I've been living wrong. I know I've been blessed. Chances, how many left? I, I, I've been sinning lately. What do you suggest? What should I do? I want 999 more Hail Marys right now. Right now. I want nine